Recently, I did a video in which I discussed four biggest challenges that students face when they're preparing for FE Electrical and Computer Exam. And one of the biggest challenges is the fact that the FE Electrical and Computer Exam specification covers quite practically the entire undergraduate electrical and computer engineering curriculum, ranging from math all the way to software. So naturally, students are concerned when they get to study for this particular exam as to how they can go about preparing for these overwhelming 17 sections. And this is the question that we are going to tackle in this video. The answer to this question is pretty simple. Divide and conquer. So we are going to divide this challenging mission into three sub-missions. The first one is the big five. I call these sections as big five. They include math, circuit analysis, electronics, power systems, and digital systems because they account for approximately 50% of the exam. These are some of the most heavily weighted topics of the exam. So your first submission within this overall mission is to try and stay above average in all of these big five topics because if you have a poor showing in any one of them, it can really, really hamper your chances of passing the exam. So stay close or ideally above average in all of these five sections. Your next mission within the mission is first five, which include math, probability and stats, ethics, engineering economics and properties of electrical material. Now, there is an overlap in the form of math, which is fine, but the first five topics are important because they account for roughly 25% of the exam and they are relatively easy topics. So scoring an A plus in the first five topics is much, much easier than scoring A plus in some of the core electrical and computer engineering topics. So that's why they are so important. Your goal is to do as best as you can in the first five because it will give you confidence and it will serve as a good launching pad for the rest of the exam. The remaining eight sections are relatively lightly weighted and they account for only 25 to 35 percent of the entire exam. They cover a broad range of topics such as linear systems, signal processing, electromagnetics, control systems, communications, and all the computer sections. You will probably find that some topics are easier than others. Now the goal over here is to capitalize on your strengths and do damage control in the weak areas. Now, if you break down all the 17 exam sections into these three blocks or segments that we've just discussed, the overall task of passing the exam looks a lot more manageable. As you can see, I'm trying to teach you a proven exam preparation plan that can save you time, effort, and money. That brings us to our next section, which is planning the work. Just like Rome was not built in a single day, and a journey of thousand miles starts with a single step. It is very important not to get overwhelmed by taking a look at the 17 exam specification sections in a single go. Remember, you have to put in time and effort on each and every section. So look at each and every section as a milestone. And the strategy that we discussed in this video will help you find synergies between those segments and the modules and give you a systematic approach in tackling these sections. If you want to learn more about how you can go about effectively prepare for your FE electrical and computer exam preparation, I would recommend that you check out my masterclass. It's a free one hour class in which I discuss the three step framework of preparing for the FE electrical and computer exam in an effective manner.